All right. We've got to the most important part of the service. We want everybody to get in the proper frame of mind. Uh, clear your mind out. Get ready to hear the word of God. Sit attentively and listen. Turn off the cell phones and uh, what not. Put those things away. The most important thing in your lifetime is about to be spoken to you. Uh, next voice will be our leader, teacher, guide, and messenger of the one and only true God, Pastor Gino Jennings. Greetings, brothers and sisters. <clears throat> As always, we bear witness there is no God but one. There is no God with him. There is no God besides him. There is no God equal to him. There is no God like him. There is no God better than him. There is no God higher than him. God have no rival. He is the master of all creation. He alone is the true teacher and true sender of all holy prophets and of all holy apostles. You know, when you think about God, he has no boundaries. He has no limitations. No one is his counselor. He don't need advice from anyone about anything. He defined what perfection is. God have no flaws. God is not begotten. God is before all things. When there was nothing in existence, there was God. He is before all things exist. Without him, there was nothing made that is made. Then Brother Paul says, how be it that this knowledge is not in every man. I received a letter from, no, not a letter. There's numerous of organizations that have wrote or have written so much on the truth of God just by watching us. And there's a watchdog group that wrote an article and said uh, they all was just chatting about the telecast and about, as they call it, my militancy. And they said that I don't believe in the fundamentals of Christianity that there are three separate and distinct personalities to God. That was a true report. We don't believe in three gods at all. We don't believe that God have multi personalities because we don't believe that God is schizophrenic. Anyone that have multiple personalities is uh, schizophrenic. And when you narrow God down to three, you handicap him. I admit he is father, but look at what I'm about to toss at you now. God is father. God is father. God never was a son. That's right. Did you hear me? I want you to get this. I say God never was a son because God have no mother. That's right. God is not begotten. God don't have a birthday. And God is not a Jew. That's right. God is not Jewish. No. He is God. No nationality can lay claim on him. Someone said, but I thought you teach Jesus Christ is God. That's yes and no. That's right. 
I'm able to tell you that yes and no. Amen. The name of God is Jesus. Yeah. But the flesh of Jesus is not God. Right. <laughs> I say the name of God is Jesus. But the flesh of Jesus was not God. That's right. The flesh of Jesus was Mary's baby. That's right. God is not a baby. No. God was in the baby. Amen. And then the baby had to grow. God don't grow. Right. God don't learn. That's right. The baby Hallelujah. grew in stature. God's stature uh, has no certain measure. No. He's God is higher than heaven. Yeah. Deeper than hell. Amen. Broader than the sea. Mm -hmm. Longer than the earth. Mary didn't breastfeed God. No. So no, God did not become man. No. God made man. Amen. Then got in the man that he made. Then the man inherited God's name. Yeah. And then that man had God title. Mm -hmm. and then that man was endowed with God power. Yeah. Showing you a separation between the nature of the man Amen. and the nature of God. That's right. The Bible says God is a spirit. Mm -hmm. The Bible talks about the son of God was of the seed of David. Right. And David's seed is not spirit. That's right. Spirit was in David's seed. That's right. Spirit took on David's seed. Amen. Spirit took on the body of a Jew. Yeah. That's right. But the spirit was not the son. The Jew was the son of the spirit. That's right. And the spirit was the father of that Jew. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. Just like the Spirit is my father. <laughs> and I'm a Gentile. Go ahead, brother. But the Spirit is the father of this Gentile. That's right. Owen said, How was that? The Bible said, Have we not all one father? One father? Oh, yeah, Have not one God yeah. created yeah. us? Us. Us. Yeah. Us. Yeah. Us. Yeah. They got Jew. Italian, yeah. African, Amen. the Spaniard, Amen. the Greek, Amen. doesn't matter who you are. No. So you folk that says that there are three, three what? Three what? God is father. Mm -hmm. God never was a son. God is in son. Mm -hmm. God is in this son now. Yeah. It's called the church. church. And God is Holy Ghost. Amen. Ghost it's simply another title for spirit. Yeah. Well, what, what is that in the, in that you teach in school about two words that sound different but have the same meaning? Harmonym? Synonyms? Synonyms. Synonyms. Ghosts, spirit, same thing. Same thing. Like flesh and dust. Right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Same like. Thing. God and Lord. Yeah. Same thing. Same thing. Like Father and Creator. Yeah. Same thing. Mm -hmm. Like Son of God and Son of Man. Yes. Same thing. Yeah. So now God is the title that the Father had. Jesus is the name of the Father. That's right. And then when he made a body, the body was called son, man, prophet, apostle, minister. And that body came out the house of David, out the tribe of Judah. But the prophecy of the body comes from heaven. That's right. I know the take is on getting on this, but I just want to start off by rectifying the Trinitarian myth. Myth. It's a myth. Yes, it it's is. It's like Greek theology. It's yeah. a myth. God is one. one. Mm -hmm. So you that says I don't believe in the fundamentals of Christianity, of the religion of Christianity, you told the truth. In fact, let me tell you some more things I don't believe. 
I don't even believe in a religion called Christianity. Amen. Amen. Now I know many of you don't like this. You don't like it. And I don't care if you don't. Amen. There is no religion in your Bible or mine called Christianity. Amen. I didn't say Christian wasn't in there. No. Christian is in there. That's in there. That's but in there. the Christian is a person. Right. It was first called Christians where? Antioch. Where? Antioch. Then the apostle said if one suffer as a Christian, mean if he suffer like Jesus. That's right. But you liars, you Bible scholars, you philosophers. Yeah. You said Christianity start 2,000 years ago, and that's a 2,000 year old lie. That's right. Jesus himself never said he came and start Christianity. No. Did he say that? No, he didn't. So, where did you get it from? Who told you? That this religion, this way right. that Jesus gave his apostles was called Christianity. Christianity is nothing more than an acronym. That's all. They come from the word Christian. Right. Like apostolic is an acronym. Oh, yeah. That comes from the word apostle. Amen. Like Mormon is an acronym yeah. that comes from the devil's angel, Mermon. Amen. Amen. God didn't start acronyms. No. God said, be holy. Yeah. That's it. For I, the Lord, your God is holy. That's it. That's it. Are you listening? Amen. And because people don't know the Bible, when we say there is no religion called Christianity, you churchgoers get upset with me. But there's a surge taking place in the world. Oh, yeah. There's an uprising. Oh, yeah. There's a revolt. People are rising up around the world. Because the understanding is coming open. That's right. That's right. And because, thanks be unto God, of the truth of God message, the preachers now, their ability to con and manipulate and duke and deceive, mm -hmm. now is becoming handicapped. Mm -hmm. Because thousands of viewers are looking, learning, listening, and now they are questioning what's being taught in these churches. That's right. And that's a good thing. Amen. The Lord says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. That's right. We want to undo what the devil is doing. So this is why I'm so grateful. Oh, this message I'm telling you, people are writing us from all around the world. <laughs> in areas that you would never think. People of every nationality, black, white, brown, yellow, red, of every nationality under the sun. Turning away from their fictitious teaching. That's right. It's fictitious. Amen. You know, we go in the library, we got fiction and non-fiction. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. These religions are fictitious. Oh, yes. They are not real. Now, viewers, you hard head thing here, and some of you that are here, you were offended over the statement that I made that Christianity is not in the Bible. And the reason why you were offended because you've been going around telling people that your religion is Christianity, but you didn't know. You didn't know you were lying. Didn't know. That's right. You just picked up a religion. It's a hand-me-down religion. Amen. It was handed down from your fathers, mm -hmm. who got it from their fathers, mm -hmm. who got it from their fathers, mm -hmm. who got it from their fathers. And when the wicked crusade took place, That's it. 
sponsored by the Catholic Church. Go ahead. The Great Crusade, as they call it. Mm -hmm. Where they will go into villages around the world murdering people who refuse to accept the religion that men called Christianity. Jesus at no time said what he was teaching was Christianity. In fact, Jesus said, this doctrine is not mine. He said, but it's his. Jesus said his teaching was not his. Not, not mine. It belonged to the spirit that was in him. And the spirit that was in that body was God. Don't you hear the Bible says? To wit, God was in Christ Jesus. God was in that flesh. God was in that servant. God was in that man. God was in Mary's baby. That's right. Mm -hmm. And then God taught him. Yeah. Taught the flesh, yes. the flesh. instruct the flesh. Yeah. All that flesh was a representation of the body to come. Yeah. The body of Christ, the church. That's right. As that flesh and blood submitted to what the Spirit said, mm -hmm. the church got to submit to what the Word of God said. Amen. Amen. So just like God was in that body, God is in this body. Yeah. He's in my body. Oh, yeah. I'm in the Father. Go ahead. Go ahead. Glory to God and the Father's in me. That's right. You understand? Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. God, you want God to be in you. That's right. And you want to be in him. That's it. Glory to God. That's right. I ain't doing things on and touching on all that. But you know, it's like someone that uh, uh, bowl a ball, they may not have an intention to get a strike. <laughs> But they knock all of them down. Amen. I know there are many of you now that been going to church and professing a religion called Christianity. Christianity. And especially this time of year, you really profess it. Oh, yeah. Look at you, you hypocrite. Go ahead, brother. You have what is called Lent. That's right. Pagan festival. That's right. Who started this Lent stuff? The only thing I knew about Lent is a ball on your clothing. Amen. Pull it off. Amen. But you so-called Christians, you don't ask no questions. You just go along yeah. to get along. You don't investigate nothing. Oh, and yeah. that's why you look at me harshly and get upset because what we bring you is in here and what you believe is out there. Right. This is our foundation. That's right. We don't make up nothing. If it's not in here, we don't believe it. If it's not in here, we refuse to practice it. If it's not in here, we won't condone it. We don't care if a billion people patronize it. Amen. There's more with us than it is with them. Now, many of you would get upset and say, he's blaspheming. He's saying Christianity is not in the Bible. That's not blaspheme, that's true. That's the truth. I'm telling the truth. That's the truth of it. And many of you get angry. I don't care what you say. My religion is Christianity, you fool. That's a fool. If you truly want to be like Christ, Christ said, it is written. It is written. You, you hear him talk every time the devil jumped on him. Christ said, it is thus, written. it is written. Right. Now, I'm saying to you, it has to be written. Has to if be. it's not written, you might as well take it and throw it in the trash. Because when the great God come, every man work going to be tried by fire. And if it don't stand the fiery test, the great God of heaven is going to burn it up. That's right. So let's, let, let's go back and talk about this Lent. Mm. <laughs> this pagan indulgence founded by the Catholic Church. Mm. The same ones that started Mardi Gras. That's true. 
And let's look at how this worked now. It's true. During the time of Mardi Gras, you're free to do what you will. Amen. Even the police won't arrest you. Amen. And after that week of demonic indulgence, the next stop is Ash Wednesday. Yeah. You put smut. You put dirt to complement the dirt that you've done. That's right. Put dirt on your head. And then after the dirt, everything's supposed to be leading up to Easter. Yeah. You have your Lent and pagan festivals and Good Friday. Yeah. Good Friday is supposed to be when, you know, Jesus was crucified. Mm -hmm. And if you think Jesus was crucified on Friday, you don't know your math. Book plainly says, as Jonah was in the belly of the well three days and three nights, so shall the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth three days and three nights. If you kill him on Friday and get him up Sunday, you can't get three days and three nights. No, no. So your good Friday is no good. Amen. Now let us look at Easter. Mm -hmm. I want it to be good for any egg lovers here. Yeah. You said Jesus rose on Easter. Right. I mean, I've been hearing that since I was a kid. Oh yeah. When I was in the, you know elementary school, we'd make our Easter baskets, you know. And, by our little fake grass, mm -hmm. you know, and we can hear the music. In your Easter bonnet, right. with all your thrills upon it, That's right. you'll be the grandest lady in the Easter parade. Right. So what they, the school would do would have Easter parades. Yeah. You make your Easter bonnet and you put it on and you walk through the neighborhood. I remember I felt stupid. <laughs> Got my little paper plate and stapled it together and glued some stuff on it and I'm walking around the neighborhood. Right. A little fool pagan was I. Amen. You know, when you don't know, you're swept up in stupidity. <laughs> That's right. Viewers and you that are here, Jesus, the Bible never said at no time, no time, mm -hmm. no place mm -hmm. that Jesus rose on Easter. That's the time that the colonel mind set aside to come to church just to look good. That's right. Can't even get the message because you're so worried about what you got on. Yeah. Worrying about how polished your shoes are. Oh, yeah. So you won't kneel. Amen. Scared you're going to scuff up your toe. That's right. Scared to clap when someone sang because you don't want your hair to get fuzzy. Huh. Can't get into the swing of things because. Your wig may shift. Yeah. Or your fake eyelashes may get in your eye. Right. We that are true worshipers yeah. have no interest, no interest in paganism. No interest. You cannot be a child of God and then want to believe some of the scriptures. Right. He told Ezekiel to eat how much? Oh. Eat all of them. No. Oh, God is good. No. Brothers and sisters, we're glad for this youth conference for 2015. And there are so many that's still on the road. And so many that's still on their way here. 
God have been good to the truth of God without question. Yes, sir. Amen. Whenever you've been writing me, telling me, Pastor Jennings, when are you going to put something new on the air? <laughs> well, it may be a new year, but it's the same message that you saw in 2010. Yeah. The message don't change. But since many have seen us, we have been on the road almost every week. People gone down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ by the number around this country. Souls receiving the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Constantly being added daily throughout America and across the Atlantic and the South Pacific, regardless of where you are. This message is opening up people's understandings. More, I'm getting thousands of letters constantly. People who's listening at this message in the 60s and 70s and 80s writing me, and many of them have said the same thing. Where have you been all of our life? <laughs> many is writing. Never heard a message like this. We baptized a gentleman last week in Monroe, Louisiana. Monroe is about four, five, and maybe six hours, I, I believe, from New Orleans, who was a Baptist for 45 years. Went down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. So we are grateful. One scripture says, this is the message. Yes. We are living in a time now that the human family have a strong dislike towards God. Whether they profess to be Democrat or Republicans, they have the same hatred towards God. They have took a biblical subject of homosexuality and made it a political subject. And now America and other countries around the world want to make it legal. I was listening over the air now. They said 70%, 70, 7 and 0. 70% of the people of America are for same-sex marriage. And you know who's included in this percentage? Lord. You church people. Amen. Am I right, I said? You church people, you shiny nail preachers, you cross-wearing preachers, you ponytail Christians, you tattoo Christians, you Christians that got gold all on your teeth with a star on it and a diamond in your mouth. They condone it. So the devil... More and more is making television programs that include the relationship with two men. The objective is to influence and cause everyone to be attracted and subdued and conned by the media. You that's in this religion called Christianity, you condone same-sex marriages. Some of you politicians that's fighting, there's a politician, I believe, in the state of Indiana. The governor of America, is it the governor? And he's standing against it. And he's getting pressure for Mary Ann. Don't misunderstand me. I believe the homosexual should be able to work in any place of employment. We're not talking about his or her skill as a doctor or a lawyer or a policeman or a contractor or an architect. No, uh uh. We're dealing with an abominable behavior. That have nothing to do with your architectural skill. That's right. Mm -hmm. And they'll have nothing to do with your painting talent. Or your ability as a 
a school teacher or one that teach theology and philosophy and homiletics and chemistry and uh, rocket science and all. No, no, we ain't talking about none of that. Let us make our stand clear. We believe the homosexual have a right to work in any company in the world and eat in any restaurant of the world and hold any occupation that is in society. But we don't believe in the behavior of two men. Yeah. All right, listen. That's right. Brother Eli and Brother Black, come up here, brother, and stand right here. Come on, brothers. Stand right here. Facing me, you know. Or just to the side. That way you can get me in the camera. Now, you're fighting so two men can marry. Some of you pulpit bums are preachers. Go ahead. White preachers, black preachers, yellow preachers, and brown. Some of you are condoning it because your son is homosexual. Some of you are condoning it because you have homosexuals in your congregation. Some of you are condoning it because and you're afraid to say anything because your boss. Yeah. Your employer is a homosexual. Right. You don't want to say nothing at the job because your job has this rainbow sticker. Amen. Or rainbow flag. And so you don't want to stick out like a sore thumb. You want to be quiet. Many of you apostolics. You have turned. And now you want the deacon to marry the trustee. Lord. God made woman, woman for the man. Did he not? Yes, he did. Now, for you that have trouble hearing, you, you, you come over here, brother. You come over here, just stand over there. Now, this is what God made. Come, come here, Sister Jennings. This is what the Lord made. God made the woman. Notice the difference in how we look. Notice the difference in how we're built. That's right. Are you listening to me? God made the woman for the man. Now, when these two come together, this is what you're able to do. Come here, Sierra. When these two come together, this can come forth. Get up. Come here, Malcolm. Come on, son. When these two come together, then she can have another one one of these. <laughs> All right, you get what I'm telling you. But. But. When these two come together. These two. It may be some friction. Yeah. But they're not designed to produce. That's right. It is that behavior that we're talking about. We're not talking about your job. A homosexual got the right to be a doctor, a lawyer, a surgeon, any area in the job market. He should not be fired because he's a homosexual. Because you didn't hire him because he's a homosexual. You hire him or her based upon their talent and their skill. So to fire them because of that, that is a form of discrimination. But because they hire you, you don't have the right to force your lifestyle. Talk 
Timmy. You don't have the right to force your lifestyle in your place of employment. You homosexual employers, because one of your employees refused to accept your rainbow style of life, that's their right. You don't fire no one because they don't believe in homosexuality. Right. A man and a woman that don't believe in homosexuality is a man and a woman that respect God. Amen. Talk to me. Talk to me. That's a man and a woman that respects God. Brothers, be seen. All right, listen. So, this governor in Indiana is taking heat. Even Charles Barkley. See, me, I don't care who you are. He said that the governor was wrong. Who would ever think? That man, grown, man. grown, grown man. mustache, beard wearing men. Will be so hateful. Man, you fellas said that same sex marriages and being homosexual is equal to the civil rights. Oh, so, 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 so. Someone as far as saying as being homosexual or fighting for homosexual rights is just like being in black. No. And you dumb black fools Amen. had the audacity to agree to it. Yeah. Black is not a behavior. White is not a behavior. Brown. Not a behavior. No. I was born a black man. I didn't request to be it. God made me like I am. There is no such thing. He's acting black. Black is a color. It is not a behavior. But homosexuality is a lustful behavior oh yeah it's a lustful behavior and you movie stars and talk show hosts and pull pit buzzards Go ahead. you low lives that carry the bible you men that are watching me i don't care if you in the mosque if you believe in homosexuality, you ought to be thrown out the mouth and the Quran should be taken from your hands. Yeah. You men that say you're rabbis yeah. that endorse homosexuality should be put out of the synagogue and the Torah taken from your hands. Amen. You so-called Christian preachers that stand in your pulpit and justify homosexuality, you should be thrown out of your pulpit and the Bible taken out of your hands. Now you will call it gay bashing. God didn't make a man for a man. I don't care how you put it. Every Democrat, every Republican, every imam, every rabbi, every old preacher who believe in homosexuality, you are a traitor. That's right. You are you have committed treason. That's right. Against God. That's 
That's right. You out there that want to wear the title Christian mm -hmm. and say you like Christ, you ain't like Christ. No, 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 no. Christ did not endorse homosexuality. No, I had someone write me and tell me that Christ didn't preach that a uh, man got to have a woman. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Christ plainly said, let a man leave father mother. and mother mother. and cleave to his wife. Ain't that what Jesus said? That's what he said. That's what he said. But Satan, yeah. is Satan doing? Yes, it is. Give me the book of Genesis. Genesis. Then give me the book of Jasher. Yeah. I want to break down Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah. I had no tickets on working on this, but I had someone watch the telecast and they thought that we use a teleprop. <laughs> teleprop can't keep up with us. No. My only teleprop is the word of God. That's it. God have never purposed for two men to get married. Never did. Never did. And I want all of you judges that are watching, because I know you judges are watching of every nationality. Any of you judges that uh, will marry two men and give them a license and you two men that think you married or you two women that think you married, you're not married. That's forgery. Yes, it is. It is God that made the law of marriage. That's right. And I want to say to you, I got a letter from Jamaica. The citizens of Jamaica wrote me and told me, Pastor Jennings, would you please, would you please speak out against the homosexuality that's taking place here in Jamaica because the government of Jamaica, uh, it, it, they're being pressured, I'm told, by Great Britain and America. And to you that are watching, this is what America is doing. America is trying to put pressure on all countries and trying to force homosexuality upon them. And if they refuse to uh, condone homosexuality, then America want to sanction them mm -hmm. and want to get other countries to, san to sanction them. Mm -hmm. This goes to show you that America is a country of whoremongers. Yeah. America is a wicked country. Amen. America is a country that seeks. Only a few in America fear God now. That's right. Because a person go to church, that don't mean they fear God. No. If you claim you're a Christian and you believe in homosexuality, you don't fear God. Amen. You the grown men who claim they're straight. And yet have no problem with two men getting married. No problem. All right, let's deal with this mm -hmm. with the Bible. I want this to be good. I want this to be good. Now, the homos I had somebody ask me, Pastor Jenny, what would you do if homosexuals came to first church? They have. Yeah. And they're here now. Yeah. This is where they should be. Right. So I can pull the, the, the sting out of the hive. That's right. They need to be here. They need to be here. That way they can be around this salt. Amen. And the sugar can fall off of them. Oh, yeah. We don't, we don't use sugar here. The homosexual is welcome. Amen. But if you try at any time to lure someone Go ahead. into your lifestyle, Amen. to influence someone that your lifestyle is right, mm -hmm. then the homosexual got to go. That's right. The Bible says this, put such a one out of your midst. Out of your midst. Out of your midst. So yes, the homosexual is welcome. Everywhere I travel in the world, homosexuals come. Yeah. They know what we stand for. It's not like we're going to change. No, no. I don't care how popular you are, how famous you are, who you may be in America. You are not more famous than God. <laughs> That's right. I bow to God. I don't bow to politicians. Amen. I bow to God. I don't bow to the government of America. Amen. America don't dictate what we say. No. America don't influence what we say. God influence what we say. That's right. When God speaks, we listen. Right. And when we listen, we got to say what our master teacher have said. Amen. You get what I'm telling you? Oh, yeah. Now I want to deal with the homosexual issue, the issue from Genesis, and then I want to get the book of Jasher. Jasher, yeah. amen. Listen good. In the book of Genesis, chapter 19, and we'll start reading at the first verse. All right, so I know some folks say, man, the moment he stood up, he stood up swinging. Oh, yeah. 
Sometimes you just can't help yourself, you know. Amen. Thank God I got the devil right in view. Amen. Come on, son. And there came two angels to Sodom at even. Two angels came to Sodom. And Where did the word Sodom even come from? Sodom. In Sodom, mm -hmm. men were called Sodomites. Because Sodomites were committing sodomy. They were sodomizing. They were sodomizing each other. Each other. So, Sodom, Sodomite, mm -hmm. Sodom mm -hmm. is the name of the land. Yes. Sodomite is the people in the land. Right. Sodomizing is the act that's committed by the Sodomite. Yes. That's right. Go ahead. Are you listening? That's right. Glory to God. Listen. And there came two angels to Sodom at evening. Two angels came to Sodom at evening. And Lot sat in the gate of Sodom. Lot was there. And Lot seeing them rose up to meet them and he bowed himself with his face toward the ground. These angels, divine, mm -hmm. God sent yeah. with the message. Amen. Now think of it. Divine beings, divine. not aliens. No. To what? Two angels. Messengers. That's right. They come and Sodom into Sodom and Lot sees them. Mm -hmm. But these angels had the appearance of men. That's right. Having the appearance of men, Lot came to greet them. Greet them. Mm -hmm. And he said, Behold now, my lords, turn in, I pray you. What? Into your servant's house and tarry all night and wash your feet. Tarry all night. Come on and relax. Make yourself comfortable. Make yourself welcome. That's right. Showing hospitality. Right. Washing feet was a custom. That's right. You understand? That's right. Long before the church started. Oh, yeah. The washing of the feet was the custom mm -hmm. to wash the dirt off your feet because you wore sandals. That's right. So when you came in, the house that you lodged in, <clears throat> They washed your feet, which was a form of showing hospitality and welcome and making you comfortable. That's right. Mm -hmm. And ye shall rise up early and go on your ways. All right. And they said, nay, but we will abide in the street all night. Well, listen, the angels let them know, listen, we, we, we didn't come for you to wash our feet. Right. And we didn't come to be comfortable. That's right. We, we got another job in mind. Another job. Mm -hmm. The great God of heaven sent us here. That's right. And we got a job going on. That's right. All right. And he pressed upon them greatly. Mm -hmm. And they turned in unto him and entered into his house. Then what? And he made a feast and did bake unleavened bread and they did eat. Yeah. But. But. Before they lay down. Before they lay down. The men of the city. Well, wait a minute. Obviously, the men was already watching. That's right. And they knew when there were some strangers in town that did not live there. Amen. You homosexuals, you know the way you do. When you see somebody. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Amen. You start looking at a man up and down. Amen. Amen. That's right. Only the devil can be in a man. Only the devil. They even make a man wonder That's right. what another man is like. like. My Lord. Yeah. But before they lay down. Before they lay down. The men of the city. The men of the city. Even the men of Sodom. What? Compassed the house around. Now Lot house was in jeopardy. That's right. They didn't care. They, they, they didn't know that those men were angels. No. Sent from God. No. All they know there was two men there. Two men. That didn't live here. They wasn't from here. Right. And their lust drove them. That's right. To do what to Com Lot House? Compass the house round both old and young. They surround the house. And who surrounded? Both old 
and young. You got old homosexuals and young homosexuals. And young. Amen. Amen. Now you men that's watching me, and I know you upset, and I know undoubtedly while you're watching this, you're putting your email together now, <laughs> or right. calling the church, cussing me out. That's right. Cuss all you want. God have never purpose for two men to raise children. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. That's right. Which one is the mother? That's right. Amen. Any child that's watching me now, and you got two daddies or two mommies, ask the question if you got two mommies, which one of you is my daddy? Right. And if you got two men that say they're your father, or they use the term two partners, partners, ask the two men, which one of you is my mommy? That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. But before that, I, I just want to get his wingtips out of the air. His wingtips. Amen. Or we'll take God and plant them right back down on the ground. That's right. Where they belong. That's right. Get me? Amen. 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 What did the Holy Ghost say? But before they lay down, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, compassed the house round, both old and young. And what? All the people. All the people. From every quarter. From every quarter. And they called unto Lot and all said All the people all had the same spirit. All the people. The same spirit of Sodom and Gomorrah is yeah. here in America. That's right. It's in the White House. That's right. Which is the dog house. Amen. That spirit have contaminated the President of the United States. Amen. That spirit have contaminated Barack Obama. That's right. And now Barack said there's nothing wrong with two men getting married. My Lord. Barack is a blasphemer. That's a blasphemer. That's right. That's right. And he got an answer to God for it. Yes, he does. Now, I know some of you viewers that are black get upset with me because you said, Pastor Jenny, you shouldn't say nothing. He's a black president. Listen, if, if Barack was white Amen. and believed the same thing, it, it, it would be the same thing. He's still of the devil. Still of the devil. Just a devil of another color. That's right. I'm not into black or white. I'm into God. That's right. That's right. That's what I'm into. I'm into God and God's truth. Amen. You folk that say you're Christians and then got a rainbow flag on your church, you're of the devil. That's of the devil. They even interviewed the Pope and questioned the Pope uh, about homosexuality, and he flipped. He flipped the script. My Lord. And now he said, well, who am I to judge? The Bible says, he that is spiritual judge all things. Judge all things. That's right. Why are you men in the churches are scared to stand up? Amen. Because your money got you laying down. That's right. You're scared to stand up because your limousine got you laying down. Your prosperity got you laying down. Your mansion got your man down. But when you got God, you'll stand up. God said, I made man upright. You hallelujah. You'll stand upright. That's right. We're not attached. To mansions. Hallelujah. We're not attached Hallelujah. to bankrolls. So we can stand up Hallelujah. straight. That's right. No bend in our back. Go right. to God. And stand firmly. Hallelujah. You preachers. Go ahead, brother. Some of you stood straight. Yeah. And then you got that limousine. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Got that payroll. Bend more. Got that new church position. Bend more. Oh yeah. Church bought you a yacht. Bend more. Got your beach house. Bend more. Now bent over. Can't straighten up. Amen. Amen. The cross. Was vertical and horizontal. Yeah. What direction is horizontal? East to west, correct? Vertical is what? North and south. 
You see, north and south, that's the way God designed man. Amen. Upright. Horizontal show you got a big nature. That's right. There's a defect in you. That's right. So God wants to make man, he made man to be upright. Don't you hear he said he made man in his image? In his image? God made man in his image? Homosexual? What image are you made in? What image is that? What image is that? Whose image? God ain't funny. No, he's not. No, no. No way. That devil's not even funny. Yeah. The devil's not funny. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. The devil knows that woman was made for the, for man. the man. He was in the God. He was in there. Talking to a male. That's right. And a female. female. Yes, he was. But because the devil hate God so bad. Yeah. I'm going to change it. Change it. Change it. I'm going to make a man fall in love with a man. Yeah. I'm going to make a woman fall in love with a woman. Yeah. Why are you going to do this, Satan? Because he put me out of heaven. That's right. That's right. Any way I can make him look bad. Yeah. Any way I can uh, bring his creation to naught. To naught. Because I made, he made man to reflect God. Amen. But I want to change man. That's right. Make him denounce his creator. Huh? Amen. Oh, the devil, he hates the Lord. He hates the Lord. And you that are homosexual, and you got the nerve to say you're Christian, listen to Pastor Jennings now. There is no such thing as a Christ like <laughs> homosexual. Right. No such thing. No such thing. No such thing. I don't care if you don't like what I'm saying. No such thing. Look at what I'm telling you now. There is no such thing, no such thing. of a Christ-like <laughs> homosexual, a Christ-like Christ -like. lesbian, a Christ-like. Mm -hmm. It's not like Christ. No. Two men get married. No, it's not like Christ. It's not like Christ. No, no. No. Two women get married. Oh no, no. Am I right, I said? That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. What did the Holy Book say? Everybody, all right? Come on. Even the men of Sodom compassed their house round both old and young, all the people from every quarter. And they called unto Lot and said unto him, Where are the men which came into thee this night? Where are the men? Where are the men? Where are the men? That's what's being asked now. Amen. Now, even women are asking. <laughs> That's where, right. Where's the men? I mean, how can we get married? There ain't no men in the world. No men around. Even women is breaking an argument that it ain't no it ain't no men to marry. That's right. That's right. Practically everything you see in Atlanta. That's right. Philadelphia. Oh, yeah. New York. Oh yeah. California. Oh yes. Nevada. Amen. Boston. Amen. Connecticut. Amen. Texas. Amen. Jamaica. Amen. Virgin Islands. Yeah. Even in Japan, Lord. Australia, Lord. grown men Lord. walking down the street with their arms around some other man, some other man. blowing kisses, My Lord. holding hands. My Lord. Where are the men? And you preachers, you're scared to speak out. You have sold out. For politics. That's what's happening. One of the reasons why preachers are so afraid to speak out against this, because they don't want the uh, gover governmental subsidy to be taken. That's right. You see, they got governmental programs in these churches. Yeah. And a lot of time to get those programs, yeah. you got to agree with the government. That's right. And many of you preachers won't stand up no. because you're scared of your program yes. to being cut off. Amen. Amen. Right back at the dollar bill again. That's right. That's why the word of God said the love of money is the root of all evil. Is is. The root of all evil. Then it tells us, wow, some have covered it after. It, it didn't say after when they got it. They said, wow, wow. they covered it after. They have error. From the faith, and have pierced themselves through 
Glory to God with many sorrows. But thou, o man of God, flee these things. Flee, that means run away from it. Get away from it. All right, come on. Where are the men which came into thee this night? Bring them out unto us that we may know them. Now, let me say this. Many of you young men watching me was pushed into homosexuality. Some of you was pushed into it because you had a rotten low life called a father. That's right. Who wasn't a real man. He couldn't just wash you. That's right. Without fondling you. Amen. Some of you had a no good rotten older brother. Yeah. And a perverted uncle. Mm -hmm. And a demonic grandfather. Yeah. And a no good preacher. Amen. 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 You know, there was a time that the preacher would chase women. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was the time. I mean, many of them still do. It's wrong, but they was doing wrong the right way. Now, they stopped chasing women. Yeah. Your son. That's something. That's something. Let me tell to you that are watching me and you that are here. Anytime you in a church that believe in homosexuality, your son is in danger. Oh, yeah. Your son is in danger. Amen. Anytime you got a church that's flying a rainbow flag and they're not in Operation Push either with Jesse Jackson. No. It's, a, it's, it's another form of push. Amen. Eh? That's right. You get what I'm telling you? That's right. Amen. That's right. Everybody all right? Amen. Listen at the old man. Come on. Where are the men which came into thee this night? Bring them out unto us that we may know them. And Lot went out at the door unto them and shut the door after him. And said, I pray you, brethren. Hold it. What did Lot call the homosexual? Where are the men? What did Lot call the homosexual? I pray you, brethren. 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 Amen. Why, why did Lot call the homosexual brother? Brethren. He wasn't condoning the act. No. He was letting them know, look, you man, you are men. You're a man. I can't call you sister. That's right. That's right. You're a man. Amen. You understand? You're a man. That's right. I can't call you sister. No. So what did Lot say to them? And said, I pray you, brethren. I pray you, brethren. Do not so wickedly. Now, do not so wickedly. wickedly. But what did the homosexual say in reference to those men? Mm -hmm. They wanted to do what? That we may know them. And what was Lot respond? Do not so wickedly. And what did they want? That we may know them. They didn't want to know their name. No. They didn't want to know where they came from or how long it take them to get there no, or no. their traveling arrangements and Amen. what they were bringing with them. No. Oh, no. That's right. They wanted to get very personal with them. Bring them out unto us. They wanted what? Bring them out unto us. Why? That we may know them. I had a false prophet on the telecast some time ago, Harry Knox. Yeah. Dirty Harry was he. And Barack Obama handpicked Mr. Knox mm -hmm. to be on his faith based program. Mm -hmm. Now, Mr. Knox said mm -hmm. that this was wrong because it was not consensual. He said, so if a man is forcing himself on another man to rape him, right. it's wrong. Right. But if it's consensual, it's right. Right. That's what he said. Scripture ain't say that. No, no. That was just his perverted mouth. That's right. To condone his perverted lust. That's right. To justify his perverted deeds. Amen. Amen. I want this to be good for every man that's switching. <laughs> That's right. And even you men that ain't switched. 
Because some of you men are homosexuals. You lift weights. Yeah. You stroll. You right from the hood. Some of you men talking that talk from the hood. From the hood. Some of you are homosexual rappers. Go ahead, That's right. Homosexual governors. Go ahead. Homosexual mayors. Yeah. Amen. It's amazing how the media praise you yeah. when you come out the closet. And all of a sudden, Barack, Barack calls you. Yeah. Or his wife calls you. Yeah. And tell you it took a lot of courage. It took a lot of courage to admit you love abomination. Abomination. Tell Barack I'm still waiting for his call. Amen. You come out the closet. God tell us to go in the secret closet. That's right. So while you come out, we go in. We going in. To pray for you that you don't come out. <laughs> That's right. Why don't you call me, Barack? Mm -hmm. yeah. Call Pastor Jennings and tell me I'm brave. <laughs> tell me, why don't you tell me you 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 have a lot of courage? <laughs> uh, 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 you have a lot of courage to speak against homosexuality. Hallelujah. Call me, Barack. Call, call me. Call him. Call him. Call me. That's right. Why don't you do that? <laughs> no, you'd rather call a faggot. First. That's right. That's right. Talk to me. Hallelujah. Are you listening to the old man? Hallelujah. Amen. Now, some of you probably hear from the Black Caucus or you voted for Barack. I didn't vote for Barack. So I'm not tied to Democrat or Republicans. I'm tied to scripture. That's it. Anybody in this building, I don't care what church you're from, no. that condone homosexuality, mm -hmm. if you condone it, you're not a Christian. Not a Christian. I'll make you take your religion and lick it up, God knows. That's right. I say anybody in this building tonight, tonight. anybody that are watching and anybody listening, that profess to be a Christian that condone homosexuality, mm -hmm. I'll make you lick your Christianity up. Amen. Yeah. I'll make you do it with the word of God. With the word. I don't care if you claim you're a preacher. That's right. I'll yeah. blast what you preach right into hell. <laughs> That's right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Yeah. Amen. Amen. What did the holy book say? Where are the men which came into thee? Where are the men? Which came into thee this night? Hey, Father, how do you feel? Having your son have boyfriends Isn't that, that act like girls <clears throat> coming to visit your son. Lord, and you good for nothing fathers that's not fit to be a father is so low and full of hell you have now got to the point well uh, that's what my son lifestyle I support him how can you, how support, can you support abomination me? and then go to church that's right that's talk right. to me amen, amen. That's right. You are worthless as a father. Amen. I say you are worthless as a father. Anytime a bunch of young men switching and bobbing their hair with overall shiny lips, dropping their hands all over the place, come to pick up your son. Pick up the son. And you condone it. Amen. You mothers do the same thing. Yeah. Your daughters come to you. I met a girl. And we want to get married. I'm so proud of you. Really? Wow. You can't get no grandchildren like that. Not like that. You parents have become foolish. foolish. Full of hell. Amen. Do you see how backward the devil have done this? Oh, yes. Did it take me all night and all day tomorrow and all day Sunday to preach this and I still won't be finished. That's right. Come on, son, you got to move quick because time is moving. Where are the men which came into thee this night? Bring them out unto us that we may know them. Yeah. And Lot went out at the door unto them and shut the door after him. Hold it. He shut the door behind him. Behind him. You know why? He didn't want them in there. That's right. He didn't open his door and say, come on in, y'all. <laughs> no. 
shut he the came door. out and closed the door behind him. That's right. Mm -hmm. And said, I pray you, brethren. I pray you, brothers. Do not so wicked. I'm saying the same thing to every homosexual under the sun. Mm -hmm. I pray that you don't do so wickedly. Get up off your knees. You ain't praying. Right. That go to the inmates in prison. That's right. That claim you believe in holiness. That's right. If you believe in holiness, get up. Get up. Amen. Detach yourself. Amen. Back out of that garage. That's right. Pull your pants up. Go ahead. Talk to me. All right, listen. What did the word of God say? And said, I pray you, brethren, do not so wickedly. This is a wicked act. Wicked. That's right. You texting each other your body parts. Uh, wickedly. You're on your way to hell. You are pervert. That's a pervert. That's right. That's right. You emailing. Mm. Sexing. Yes. Yeah. Sexting. Huh? Men. men, sexing men. Men skyping each other, buck naked. Yes, I'm going to preach it. If any of you find this offensive, look at all these doors where you can go out of. If you're scared, you shouldn't be here. That's right. But a real man can take it. Oh, yeah. Because you will go to hell if you can't. That's right. Take a real man to sit under this kind of preaching. That's right. Take a real man to take this kind of preaching. That's the truth. You don't want this kind of preaching. You're not a man. Preach it. What did the Holy Word say? And said, I pray you, brethren, do not so I wickedly. I pray you, brethren, do not so wickedly. Behold now. Look now. I have two daughters. Now, this let you know that Lot knew what was right. That's right. Lot knew that fornication was wrong. Right. But he was willing to offer his daughters. Daughters. And yet she knew fornication was wrong. That's right. But he was letting them know, look, if you're going to do wrong, there's a right way to do it. That's right. What did Lot recommend? I have two daughters. Listen, you fellas are hot. This, your heat's supposed to be towards right. the women. The women. That's right. I have what? Two yeah. daughters. No, two sons. Two daughters. Amen. Listen at the word. Look how clear now it is. I have two daughters. I'm recommending to you homosexuals. Mm -hmm. What Lot recommended? Women. 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 That's right. That's right. That's right. Lot recommended women. Two daughters. I'm recommending women. Amen. This stuff got to be burnt into hell. Our children. Yeah. Is that state? That's right. Little boys. That's right. If they are not taught the straight path. Yeah. If they're not taught the straight path, they think it's all right in elementary school. That's right. To be kissed. That's right. By a little five-year-old boy. Amen. I think it's all right. I'm not saying harass the homosexual. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying harass them on the internet. No. 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 But I am going to preach the gospel. That's it. And if you call preaching the gospel harassment, then so be it. So be it. Amen. Amen. They're trying to make it illegal now. The government of America. Mm -hmm. Speak against homosexuality or you'll be thrown in jail. Yeah. <laughs> you can't build a prison big enough or small enough. I go to jail gladly Amen. and stand for God. Amen. I'd preach it in jail. That's right. In season, out of season. In jail, out of jail. That's right. We're living in a time where men that hear this message, even they get nervous. That's right. They claim they're men. Amen. What you scared of? You're not the one talking. That's right. What you scared of? Amen. 
Well, I'm scared for you. Don't be scared for me. If I perish, let me perish. I'm going to see the king. Scared for me? God have not given us the spirit of fear. My wife married me, she married a man. That's right. She didn't marry no one that couldn't make up in his mind what he was. That's right. I wasn't trying to figure out what I am. No. No. I didn't need a psychologist to tell me what I am. No. Now there are many of you that says that you were born a male, but a woman was trapped in you. Trapped, trapped in you. Oh, the devil's just, he's terrible. That's what they say. No, what you feel is a spirit. It's a spirit. And because you're not familiar with the spirit world, yeah. you call it a woman. That's right. But it's a spirit. Spirit of inordinate affection. You think it's a man inside of a woman. No, it's the spirit of the devil in her. You think it's a woman in a man. No, it's the spirit of the devil in him. That's right. That make you feel in a manner. That's against God. It's against God. Amen. That's right. Amen. You know it's the spirit anytime a six-year-old boy and a ten-year-old boy saying, I like boys. Yeah. It's a spirit. That's a spirit. And you foolish parents, some of you mothers, mm -hmm. you let your son wear your heels and play in your blouse and mm -hmm. wear a wig. You say, oh, look at Johnny, isn't that cute? No, it's not cute. Amen. It's an abomination. Abomination. Are you listening to me? Amen. This is something that needs to be preached hard every day. Listen. Behold, now I have two daughters which have not known me. I got two daughters that are virgins. Let me, I pray you, bring them out unto you. I bring them. And do ye good to them as is good in your eyes. You do what's good in your eyes. If whatever you want to do, anything, anything, anything goes. That's right. If, what you, if you want to do it, mm -hmm. you do it to the girls. That, that's the right. The female. That's right. But what? Only unto these men. Unto these men. Do nothing. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's right. How much can they do to the men? Nothing. No, a little bit. Nothing. At least kiss them. Nothing. No, at least grind on them. Nothing. Pull their hair. Nothing. Spank their behind. Nothing. Put on some leather jeans. Nothing. Get a whip. Nothing. Tie them up. Nothing. Handcuff them to the bed. Nothing. Unto these men, do nothing. Why were he saying over the air? Because you're doing it. That's right. That's why. That's why. Right. Oh, ahead, that's too graphic. If you're a man, you can take it. You can take it. That's right. Wonderful. You know you ain't being handcuffed and that's got right. on boots like a woman and walk around with a wig on, brother. You can take it. You can take it. That's right. Amen. The Holy Ghost said, Only unto these men, unto the men, do nothing. Brothers, what did the Lord say? Do what? Nothing. Do what? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Did it say nothing? Nothing. No, a little bit. Nothing. Kiss them? Nothing. Hug them? Nothing. Rub them? Nothing. Lay on them? Nothing. Grind on them? Nothing. Try to get in? Nothing. But then can't get out? Nothing. That's right. Hallelujah, hallelujah. See, it shows you that it's not godly. That's right. If it was godly, you wouldn't get stuck. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Oh, 
God help the people. You wouldn't need to call the paramedics. Call the paramedics. If it was right, you would not need help from a doctor. That's right. To disconnect you. That's right. Amen. If it don't fit, you got to quit. Huh? That's right. If it don't fit, that's right. A father should be able to wash his son. A father, listen to me good, should be able to wash his son and the son be saved. That's right. The older brother should be able to wash his younger brother and the younger brother is saved. The uncle should be able to wash his nephew and his nephew is saved. The grandfather should be able to wash the grandson and the grandson is saved. That's right. The preacher should be able to counsel your son and your son is Say, talk to me. Amen. Amen. Your preacher should be able to drive your son home. Amen. And he's safe. He's safe. The priest. Amen. Should be able to give your son communion if he's qualified. Yeah. Without spending the night with them. That's right. That's right. Your son should be able to go in that confession booth. Amen. And it's padlock free. That's right. That's right. The Muslim should be able to talk to his imam. Without the E-man want to fondle his beard. That's right. That's right. My Lord, right. Preach it. Amen. Go ahead, brother. The Hebrew should be able to talk to his rabbi. Yeah. Without the rabbi want to play with his curls. Amen. That's right. Go ahead. Am I Preach it. right? That's right. Amen. Go ahead. Now I know ahead. many of you don't like what I'm saying. But it's true. It's true. It's true. Uh, it's true. Good teaching. Good teaching. Sound up. Sound up. What did the holy book says? Behold, now I have two daughters which have not known man. I have two daughters that don't know man. Let me, I pray you, bring them out unto you, and do ye to them as is good in your eyes. Real quick. Only unto these men do nothing. Do nothing. For therefore came they under the shadow of my roof. All right. And they said, stand back. Get, get, do what? They said, stand back. You see how consistent they were? Consistent. Stand back. And they said again, this one fellow came into sojourning, and will he needs be a judge? Now will we deal worse with thee than with them? Listen, they told Lot, we're going to deal worse with you. With you. Than with them. them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they pressed sore upon the man, even Lot. Look at the lust, how it, drew, how it, it just drove them. Amen. They started pressing against the door. And came near to break the door. And they wanted to break the door. That's what the Bible meant when it says burn in their lust. lust. Their lust was driving them. Oh, yeah. All right. But the men put forth their hand and pulled Lot into the house to them. Then what? And shut to the door. Uh -huh. And they smote the men that were at the door of the house with blinds. You see, the Sodomites didn't know these were the angels of the Lord. That's right. And the power of the Lord shine out of that house. And smote the men with what? With blindness. Blindness. Both small and great. Small and great. So that they wearied themselves to find the door. They got exhausted. They couldn't even see the door. They got exhausted. That's right. That lets you know even when they was blind, they still was trying still. to get in. Amen. They still was full of lust until they was just tired. That's right. <sighs> tired. Tired. Amen. That's really determined, isn't it? Oh, yeah. What else? And they smote the men that were at the door of the house with blindness, both small and great, so that they wearied themselves to find the door. And the men said unto Lot, Hast thou here any besides, son-in-law and thy sons and thy daughters? And whatsoever thou hast in the city, bring them out of this place, for we will destroy this place. America! The judgment of God is hanging over you. Amen. 
You are equal to Sodom and Gomorrah. Equal. You are a modern day Babylon. That's right. America's arrogant, self righteous, self centered, and they hate for God is forever increasing. That's right. They love for Satan mm -hmm. is increasing. It's increasing. Everybody is glorifying this trash program that I saw commercials about called Empire. Yeah. Where they had two men on that. That's right. Two men. The devil know what to do to attract attention. Two fellas. That's right. Anything for ratings, anything for money. Yeah. Anytime an actor will put on a women's clothes and act like a woman just so he can get that big payday, you're a pervert. You're a pervert. Yeah. Pervert. Yeah. You're a perv. You're a perv, that's right. That's right. A man that's a real man won't belittle himself no. or degrade himself to play in a role. No. no. Give me the book of Romans real quick. I'm not going to have time to get Jasha. Right. I want the knock off. Right. But give me Romans, the first chapter. Mm -hmm. Read fast. Romans chapter one. And because we'll start. the homosexual says, well, that's the Old Testament. And even Harry Knox told me, well, it's not mentioned in the Bible, but only a few times. <laughs> Isn't that something? Isn't that something to say? Now, how many times <laughs> do you have to be Slapped Amen. before you feel it. Yeah. Amen. When God speaks, He ain't got to tell me the same thing over and over and over. No. That's their way of watering down the truth of the subject. That's right. Read fast, son. Romans chapter 1, we're at verse 24. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts. What? To dishonor their own bodies between themselves. It's a dishonorable act when two men are together. Right. Amen. Amen. When you two fellas, you know, in the hood, mm -hmm. a woman would pass a message to a man or a man would pass a message to a woman when they shake hands. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they shake hands and they had this thing where they scratch your palm. Right. Yeah. She or he is telling you they want to be with you. That's right. They want to have sex with you. So they shake your hand and scratch your palm. And I'm pretty sure they still do it. Amen. If there's any men scratching the palm of a man. Hello. Amen. Amen. Any man that's struggling with homosexuality, mm -hmm. if you're struggling with it, struggling. let me make this plain. Struggling. If you're struggling with it, you need not to be on no choir. Yeah. You need not to be playing no instrument. Yeah. You need not to be working on no auxiliary. That's right. Did you hear what I said? Yeah. If you're struggling with homosexuality, you should not be opening up praise service. You should not be opening up testimony service. You should not be playing no instrument at all. You should not be in the pulpit. You should not be on no choir. Fast, pray, sit down, and give yourself over to God until that garbage. That's right. Amen. I didn't say while you're struggling with it. Till that garbage come out, then function. If it's not out, don't do nothing. Do nothing. Do nothing. The only thing you need to do is work on yourself. That's right. Glory to God, I think. No choir. Hallelujah. Don't even get up and give announcements. Amen. Don't lead no praise service. Yeah. The Bible says do nothing. Do nothing. Do don't nothing. get on no choir, don't play no instruments, nothing. nothing. Do nothing. Do nothing. Amen. Do nothing. Amen. Amen. 
We won't. Well, I want a church where I'd be free. When you're in sin, you're not free. That's right. What if God say, He whom the Son has set free, free indeed. is free indeed. Yes, Amen. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. Amen. Mm. Listen. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts. What is it? To dishonor their own bodies between themselves. What? Who changed the truth of God. The truth is man and woman. Right. And they changed that truth to what? Into a lie. Amen. Amen. Two men with marriage license, two women with marriage license. And here's the little girl saying, these are my two mommies. Two mommies. No, they're two lesbians. <laughs> That's right. Two men. These are my two daddies. Yeah. No, they're two devils. Oh, yeah. Two homosexuals. Mm-hmm. All right, listen. Who changed the truth of God into a lie. Now I want to say to television stations, don't, 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 don't cut this. <laughs> That's right. Anytime you can put on movies on mm -hmm. your station and play programs mm -hmm. that's showing two men kissing, showing. then I got the right showing. by biblical law and by the so-called corrupt constitution of the United States <laughs> that give me freedom of speech. And if the Constitution give me freedom of speech, Pastor Peter said, let me freely speak, speak unto you. That's right. Amen. That's right. Am I right? That's right. That's right. That's right. But when you speak against the criminal, hmm. when you speak against the crime, yeah. right then the scream want to get black. <laughs> right then they say, well, he can't say that over the air. Over the air. Why not? Mm -hmm. They show it. They doing it over they there. It. Amen. All I'm doing is, uh, listen, I'm a journalist. Yeah. I'm fouling my report. <laughs> That's right. Extra, extra. Read all about it. Men are perverted in America. Amen. I'm preaching what you play on your television. That's right. Show it. You show it. You show it. Amen. But yeah, you don't want me to say it. That's right. That's right. Isn't that something? Amen. You will show it gladly. Oh yeah. For ratings. Oh yes. But you don't want me to say it. No. Scared that your ratings will go down. Mm -hmm. Read fast, son. Who changed the truth of God into a lie. Yes. And worshiped and served the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. Read quick. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections. God gave them up to vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Now, the natural use is when a man marry a woman and a woman marry a man. They come together and children are brought forth. It ain't no children can come from two women. No. It ain't no children can come from two men. And you find these actresses, these, these women that are actresses. Yeah. And they all over talk shows talking about, I, I say, well, this is my partner. Yeah. You know, news journalists coming out, this is my partner. And yeah. everything, they don't want what God said no more. They don't want it, no. Be quick. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men. Leaving the natural use of the woman. What I look like leaving my wife for, for a man. For a man. <laughs> look, a woman, if she got a good husband and her husband leave her for another woman, that woman going to be hurt. Yeah. But if that woman leave her or if that man leave her for a man. For a man. I mean, she would be devastated, angry, bitter. Oh, yeah. And then whatever other emotions she has, she probably won't even know. <laughs> Confused. Yeah. Because a lot of you women are married to men on the down low. That's right. They on the down low. That's right. Way down yonder. Way down. Amen. Way down yonder. Way down. Are you listening? My Lord, my Lord. Real quick. And likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burned in their lust one toward another. Who got that burn? Men with men. What are these men with men doing? 
working that which is unseemly. When two men have sex and tomorrow they get married and, and you know you, you love him and I want to marry, what do you look like dropping on your knees asking some man, will you marry me? Dropping on your knees. <laughs> Amen. All on your knees, will, will you, you knees? marry me? He's standing there. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Lord help the people. And he's still down there. Still, still you're proposing. going to hell while you're down there. That's right. Read fast. And likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman, burning their lust one toward another. How men. can you leave a woman? Wow. For a man? Wow. Well, I don't like leaving my woman. Huh? Amen. Call that good woman? For, for a man? For a man. I'm going to leave all them curves Amen. for a telephone pole? For a telephone pole. <laughs> Lord help the people. Amen. Some of you folks watching me, your pastor done flipped the script on you and now he come out the closet. That's right. That's right. And the congregation is larger now. That's right. That's right. That's right. Full of devils. Full of. Church has become a haven, mm -hmm. a place for hot out yeah. for homosexuality. Oh, yeah. Because even they know the churches ain't gonna say nothing about it That's as right. long as they giving up tithe and offering. That's right. Long as they give them that dollar, the preachers say, well, you know, we can overlook some things. Overlook we ain't gonna overlook nothing. No. I don't care if you give a million dollars a day tithing and three million dollars a week offering. Amen. I'm gonna preach the word of God if you're about to die. That's right. That's right. Read fast. And likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman, burning their lusts one toward another, Men with men working that which is unseemly. What else? And receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meat. And they receive in themselves that recompense of what? Of their error. What's in them? Their error. What's in them? Their, their error. error. I told you, I don't care how you cut it, it's not how right. You cut it. That's right. Is there error in you? It's an error. That's right. What is it? And even as they preacher, did. Preacher, why don't you preach this? Error. Why don't the Bible let you know what's in them? In error. Their error. Read, it, read the whole thing there. And likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman, burning their lusts one toward another. Yes. Men with men working that which is unseemly. All right. And receiving in themselves. Receiving in, the, listen. In as themselves. a result, as a result, as a result of you working that which is Unseemly, Amen. you 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 caught something and receiving in themselves. You receive something. That's right. You receive something in yourself. That recompense. What? That recompense. That recompense of their error. Of their error, which was meat. Amen. Listen, mm. the meat you got was an error. It was an error. <laughs> the error was called what? Which, which was meat. Which was what? Meat. Which was what? Meat. Spell that. M-E-E-T. Now, anytime you got an error in you, in you, you got something that you came down with. <laughs> That's right. The error, error is a result of your act. That's right. That's right. Which was meat, which, which was, was meat. a corrupt sacrifice or corrupt offering. Yeah. yeah. Amen. You brought it on yourself. It on yourself. Now right. look at you now. Now you're upset with the government with demonstrations because you feel as though they're not spending enough money for a cure for AIDS. That's right. Look how foolish you are. Amen. Why in the world would you get upset with America because they're not spending enough money for you? Amen. That's right. You don't want no AIDS? Mm -hmm. Get up. Get up. Do nothing. Do nothing. Huh? That's right. Do nothing. Do nothing. No kissing, no hugging. Nothing. 
<laughs> don't even use a condom. Don't even, in don't, fact, don't, if you do nothing, right. you don't need a condom. That's right. Why? You're doing nothing. Doing nothing. No wink in your eye. Mm -hmm. No blowing a kiss. No blowing a kiss. Holy Ghost said, do nothing. Do nothing. <laughs> do nothing. Hmm? Amen. Can't even make a toast to him. That's right. That's right. Do nothing. Do nothing. Can't make a toast. <laughs> mm -hmm. Amen. Nothing. Can't buy him some male lingerie. That's right. Holy Ghost said. Do nothing. Do nothing. <laughs> Can't send him a picture of your body. No. Because you're doing something. That's right. And the Lord said. Do nothing. And cannot buy him a gift, mm -hmm. and there's emotions attached. That's right. Holy Ghost said, do nothing. Amen. Can't buy him a sweetheart card on Valentine's Day. That's right. The Holy Ghost said, do nothing. Can't buy him a sweetheart card on his birthday. Amen. Do nothing. Holy Ghost said, do nothing. Any un godly motive behind anything you buy anything you give any place you take them right what two men doing in a gay club a gay restaurant that's right everybody walking around with leather everybody pants like they joining the rodeo that's right leather pants and nigga behind is out Amen. Got on a cap that looked like a police cap and a leather vest. That's right. I bet I see no brothers in first church Go ahead, with leather pants. Go ahead. Go ahead. Amen. No brothers. Amen. I see you in no leather pants. No leather. That's right. Like you rawhide. That's right. That's right. You got a you got a leather coat? All right. All right. You got a leather belt? All right. Yeah. You got leather shoes? All right. Amen. You got a leather jacket? All right. Mm -hmm. You got leather pants? That's not all right. That's not all right. That's just too much. It's too much leather. Amen. Leather pants and suede pants. Yeah. You see, there's some things that a woman can wear, a man ain't got no business, no wear. business wearing. A woman wear heels. Right. We ain't got no business with no high heels. No, no. High heels. <laughs> what are we doing with high heels? That's right. That's right. What are we doing with pantyhose? That's right. Something's wrong with that. Like you, Peter Pan. <laughs> <laughs> or Robin's Hood. You want to go to Robin's Hood? My Lord. Huh? <laughs> want to be one of the merry men? <laughs> you want to be one of the merry men? That's right. Huh? One of the merry men. <laughs> yeah, all right. Talk your foolish talk. <laughs> That's right. Give me a few more verses. I got to get out of here. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge. Brothers should not be arching your eyebrows. You're a man. You should not have eyebrow pencil on. You're a man. You should not be dyeing your hair. You're a man. You should not be manicuring your nails. You're a man. That's right. You should not be wearing earrings. You're a man. That's you should man. not be platinum your hair. Yeah. You're a man. You should not be curling your hair. That's right. I should not ever hear a young man talking about, I want a curly top. For what? Amen. You're a man. Amen. Amen. Shouldn't matter to you whether you got curls or not. Amen. Brian, that's a real man. Ain't trying to get curls. That's right. He's not trying to get his hair done so he can save us some curls. That's right. That type of language ain't got no business coming out the mouth of a real man. Talk to me. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. You don't see your leader talking about a curly top. You ain't following no faggot. Go ahead, brother. 
Go Am ahead. I right, I said? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm due a haircut now. When I go to the barber shop, sometimes my barber, he just be playing around. Something different? You hear something different today? I said, that's a foolish question. He <laughs> said, oh, I thought I would ask. I said, no, that's a foolish question. Just get busy and, and, and just start removing. Start removing. I ain't worrying about trying to have a curly top. I'm a man. Why am I worried about curls? Right. I'm a man. Go ahead, Go ahead. Go ahead. Man, that's a real man. I ain't worrying about no curly top. Go ahead. He ain't putting no stupid gel in his head so his hair can curl up. Get that perverted trash out of your head. That's right. That's right. You ain't got no time for that fool. <laughs> Let the preachers know. No man should be in the mirror longer than a woman. That's right. Call to me. Yeah. Amen. That's right. It's a serious business, brother. I ain't playing with nobody. Go ahead. Better not be no young men or old worrying about some foolish curly top or putting some fat back grease in your head so your hair can even look like it got curls. That's right. You know God ain't made your hair like that? That's right. Lord says six things do I hate. Seven is an abomination before me. A proud look. Yeah. Amen. If God ain't gave me curls, ain't gonna pretend like I got them. That's right. Amen. I ain't gonna put no pig feet fat in my head. Amen. Oh, my hair can shrivel up and make it look like it got curls. curls. Amen. That don't concern a real man. No. We become concerned about foolishness. And that's why many of us can't get God and don't go after God and don't pursue God. Because you're so full of pride and conceitment and arrogance. That's right. And you corrupt yourself by being corrupt by television. Television is driving you to hell. Go ahead. You want to look like hoes and look like pimps. You're not even supposed to look like something you're not. Get the scripture, son. Don't sit there and look at me. Get the scripture quick. Because you better even look like something you're not. One of God speak against you looking like something that you're not. You ain't a faggot, don't look like it. You get a haircut, get a haircut. You don't need no hair design. No bunch of parts in your head like you represent the highways of America. Keep your hair cut conservative. Keep it modest. Keep it right. No dye in your hair. No plaques in your hair. No dreadlocks in your hair. It ain't no man got should have a ponytail in his hair. A man with bangs? Bangs are for women. Ponytails are for women. A man's attire. Listen. Now in the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 19. And we'll start at verse 29. A man may be known by his look. A man may be known by what? By his look. Known by his look. Known by what? By his look. Amen. When you look at a man, you should know you're looking at a man. That's right. You should never have to say, wait a minute. What? <laughs> Whoa, wait a minute. That's right. When you walk by someone, no one should think it was a sister that walked by. That's right. When that sister walked by someone, no one should think it was a man that walked by. That's right. 
Are you listening? A man may be when known. When that woman shake my hand, it should be the handshake of a woman. When that man shake my hand, it should be the handshake of a man. Right. Give chapter and verse again. In the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 19, and at verse 29. Says what? A man may be known by his look. A man may be known by his look. And one that hath understanding by his countenance when thou meetest him. You see, I have understanding. Right. So I should know what you are by your countenance. That's right. You men want to wear these little bracelets that's made out of uh, strings. Strings. Different color string bracelet. Look how weak you are. Look how weak and foolish and hellish you are. That's little right. string bracelets your friend gave you. Little bees your friend gave you. You get involved and get surrounded with friends that keep you looking gay, acting gay. That's right. A man's attire. Amen. Amen. It should not be no tight pants. In God house or out? That's right. Those skin tight jeans. That's right. Skin tight suits. Amen. There should not be no suits, no pants. Gathered all around your private area. That's right. Until your private area Jeez. is seen. Amen. That's right. Amen. And you sitting like you don't have no church training. Legs open. Brothers right. are taught to sit with your legs closed. Right. All brothers are taught. Amen. Not sitting in a church in a chair like you in bed. That's right. Talk to me. Amen. Close your legs. Amen. Amen. You skin tight pants wearing men in church. All up on BET and TBN. Tight pants. Yeah. Skin tight. <laughs> right. Used to be a song when I grew so, up. Skin tight. Skin tight. You remember that? That's right. Skin tight. Amen. I'm used to telling women not to wear tight clothes. But now I got to tell men. Amen. You know we're living in the last days. Oh, yeah. Where you got to tell grown men. Loosen up. That's right. Anytime the seam of your pants. Go ahead, it's stretching. <laughs> so Go ahead. And you only but yay big. That's right. <laughs> Your pants should not be trying to find a way to escape. <laughs> skin tight pants skin preachers tight. and skin tight pants deacon. Yeah. Skin tight pants men all on the choir. Oh yeah. It's a disgrace. Mm -hmm. We believe in holiness. Amen. Nothing else. Amen. That's right. I mean nothing else. That's it. Amen. The word of God says what there? A man may be known by his look. Let me quit on that. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. <laughs> now. Brothers and sisters, we thank God moreover for the toughness of the message, Amen. for the sincerity of the message, and the uprightness of the message. We're not playing church. We believe in having it God's way or no way. Be back tomorrow, God willing. We'll be at headquarters on Frankfurt Avenue. There's a 10 o'clock session. And I want all you young people there. 10 o'clock. Prayer will begin tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. There will be prayer at 9 o'clock till 10. One hour prayer. Be there. Be there so you can pray and pull on heaven. At 10 o'clock, there will be a rap session for our young people. Don't, don't go out to the malls and shopping. Be there. And even if the older brothers and sisters want to come, you're welcome also. But you be there in a rap session. 
It'll be at 10 o'clock on tomorrow. And then after the rap session is over, I believe they're having a cookout or dinner or whatever, if weather permits. And then, of course, tomorrow night, we'll be back here, hanging and banging back in school. Thank you for listening. Let us all stand. Brother Minister Todd will close us out in prayer. Eternal God, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we thank you again for your mercies towards us. We thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for the word of God that was preached on this evening. We pray, Lord God, that it settle in our hearts, that it may take root in us, O Lord God, that we may be obedient to thine word. Help us, O Lord God, as we depart back to our separate destinations to get back in peace till we see one another once again. These blessings and thanks we ask in the name of Jesus Christ. So I'll say amen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right.